Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We got the lock of the week. Uh, we're going to get into this card. It's a UK, it's a, it's a final UK card. Um, Adam Azima and, and uh, Frank and Pettigrin card. Um, Matteo Signani and Tyler Denny for the European middleweight title. I, I think this is a really good fight to make money on. I, I was thrilled uh, when I saw odds on this fight because I, 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 I think... Well, we'll get into it, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all from social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight, even these non-major fights, even these little fights that uh, you might say no one cares about. Someone does, and I'm going to bring it to you, and I'm going to show you how to make money. It doesn't matter if it's a big fight or not. I'm going to show you how to make money. The odds makers don't know how to handicap these fights, and I'm going to show you how to make money on it. Um, I don't gamble. Remember that. Um, I, I use, I'm in Texas. I use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas, right? So I, I'm not gambling on these fights. But if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money on boxing. Uh, because, like I said, the, the, the odds makers don't know how to handicap the sport. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Um, and please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Um, so we have an, an intriguing fight, right? I don't know how many of you guys know these names. If you know these names, you're a hardcore, hardcore. You're on my level. I love that. We have my paisano, Matteo Sognani, Chigano, the Jaguar. Um, five foot ten, uh, middleweight. He's 44 years old. And they call him the legend over there. Also, um, he, he's just coming off a win. He he, he uh, beat a guy named Anderson Prestot, who, who who took a technical decision from him. Uh, about was, was stopped uh, with a cut um, after five or in the fifth, I, I believe. Uh, that was in June of 2022. Uh, he come back uh, November of 2022. So exactly, the fights are exactly a year apart. Uh, and, and he fought in Italy. Um, and he scored a seventh round knockout of Anderson Prestot. Uh, you guys may remember in 2021, he fought Ruben Diaz um, on, a, on a matchroom Italy card. He scored a really dominant decision over him. Um, he's he's strong. Um, his, his record suggests he doesn't have pop, but that's not right. He does. He's got a record of 32, 6, and 3. Um, his two wins of, of recent note, one came in France against a prospect they had named Maxime Bousseri, and he stopped him in the second round. Um, then the Anderson Prestoff, he scored a seventh round knockout. His power's in his left hook. Um, you know, he doesn't throw with, you know, he's 44. Um, he, you know, he's got... Good movement. He's strong as an ox, and he uses his body to create space and close space as he wants to. Um, he doesn't use his legs as much. You know, like I said, he's 44. He's got – still has decent legs, but it, it's like Hopkins later in his career. He, he can't use them. Um, like I said, he's, it, it, it's about his left hook. He, he throws a lot wide. He doesn't really throw much straight. It's going to be a, a, a fun contrast in style with Denny, who's more of a traditional, conventional boxer who's well-schooled. And, and, and Denny, uh, I'm sorry, and Sinyani, um likes to be heavy off the front foot. He likes to stay in front of you, but he can move a little bit, right? He moves his head a little bit. Um, he's, a, he's a little bit slower, and, you know, uh, it's going to be a lot of one punch at a time, maybe one, two, left hook, right hand. He throws wide, uh, but he's strong as an ox, right? He, he's... He, his, his record suggests he hasn't hit, but his knockouts in recent recent history suggest that he does hit. Um, he's kind of had this rejuvenation of his career, but I also think it has to do with you know some of the talent, um, a little less of talent. Um, he's fought mostly in the Italian scene. In 2012, uh, he fought a guy named Simone Rotolo uh, in a big fight. Uh, he got dropped in that fight and stopped in the 10th. Um, and, and that kind of seemed, you know, at that time he was like 33, I guess. And people thought that was the end of him. 10 years later, he, you know, he gets, or eight years after that, he gets to win over Ruben Diaz and Max Abusari. And he's kind of back, right? Um, he's, he's in the mix. With a win here, he really gets in the mix. The thing is, he's 44 years old. 
Um, how much is he going to have left? He doesn't seem to fade. He doesn't waste a lot of energy. He doesn't really waste a lot of punches, right? He's he's on you. He can make you miss still, you know, without have, without running. He can make you miss with head movement, and he can make you shell up. Like I said, he's physically strong. He'll, he'll get in, throw, you know, a left hook, right hand, and then, like, kind of push you off with his shoulder. Um like he's heavy off the front foot. He's not going off the back foot anymore. He's a different fighter than he was 10 years ago, obviously. Um, that's his recent history. Who's he fighting? Tyler Denny. Um, I don't see much special about Tyler Denny. Um, he's fundamentally pretty good. He's a jabber. He's off the back foot. He'll come forward a little bit. He'll throw a right hand off the front foot. He's got no power. He's got a record of 17, 2, and 3, and he literally has no knockouts. He's been stopped once. 17, 2, and 3, no knockouts, and he's been stopped once. He's just not a hitter. Um, he, his last fight, he beat McGowan. He got a, he got a, a split decision over McGowan um, in a fight I thought he lost. Um, besides that, he's got a good win over Bradley Ray, which I think is his, is his, is his best performance. Um, he's got a, w- a win. A split decision win over River uh, Wilson Bent. Uh, so I mean, these are decent wins. You know, th- these are names and, and, and Brad Pauls too. Um, and, and Brad Pauls is eighteen to one, but they're all domestic level. Um, they're close. They're competitive. Um, he got stopped by Reese Cartwright uh, back in twenty eighteen. I didn't go back that far to pull that up. Uh, I, I don't think he's got a susceptible chin. Um, he doesn't get hit a ton. He's not a volume puncher. He's mostly one at a time. You know, he, he's, he's a pure boxer off the back foot, but he doesn't have sensational hand speed or foot speed. There's just not much to him. He's a decent athlete. He's not a spectacular athlete. Um, I, I don't see anything special about him. I, I don't see anything that would uh, – He's going to get walked down by Signani. You know, how, how can he deal with that? Uh, I think Signani kind of walks through him. You know, to me, this is a fight where it, the conclusion, you know, I, I guess in theory that there's three ways this fight could end. Denny by decision. I guess he could outbox him. Signani can outwork him and hustle him, which is bad from a 44-year-old. Or, or Signani can stop him. And I kind of think Signani is going to stop him. Um you know, like I said, he's mostly a jabber. He, he'll throw a right hand. He doesn't really throw in combination. Uh, it, it, there's just not a whole lot to Tyler Denny. He, he, he's been able to eke out decisions. He's been able to do enough work. Um, when he fought Bradley Ray, uh, he, he was in a world of trouble. I think it was, yeah, it was the ninth round. Uh, he held on. He got deducted a point, which actually made the fight close on the card. I still thought he won, but I thought like two of the three judges had 95-94. I thought that was right. One had it a little wider. Um, but that's kind of the best win of his career because I, I don't think he won the McGowan fight. And I, I think Zignani can beat all these guys. Um, he, he throws a nice, accurate, clean left hand. Right, um, you know, he, he he can do something. He is southpaw, so he throws a clean, straight right hand. He can counter a little bit, right? But there's, there's nothing on it. He, he never sits down on his punch. He doesn't commit to his punches. Right? He's not looking to hurt you, really. He's just looking to get points. And I just think Signani's going to walk through him. Signani's physically strong and he can hit. And I, I think Signani is going to stop him. I, I think the best bet in this thing is Signani stops him late. I wasn't able to find any... Uh, props on this i just got the money line on it so we're going to take a look at that i'm going to pull that up for you now let me get this pulled up all right i i know this is not you know the the, the sexiest thing to you guys um but he's paying it's plus 240 and just to show you what that is on on a one times bet that's not cool all right give me give me (laughs) Give me, give me, give me one second to get this straightened out. Uh, all right, sorry about that. Uh, it, it logged me out. 
So this is what I'm saying. I, I, I you know, look, I, I think there are three possible outcomes with the two most likely being Sinyani by stoppage or Sinyani by points. And when he's getting plus 240, a $100 bet makes you 340. I, I, I don't see why Tyler Denny would be a favorite in this fight. That's why this is the lock of the week. Um, there's just, you know, like I said, he's not a hyper athlete. He's not hyper skilled. Um, he's, he's got decent fundamentals and that's about it. And, uh, he, I, I, you know, he's going to have trouble winning this fight on the cards because he doesn't throw much. Um, I just think this is, he kind of fights into Sinyani's hands. And, uh, I think he, he fades late too. You saw that in, 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 in the Bradley Ray fight and you saw that in the McGowan fight. Like I thought he was up early in both those fights and that's why I kind of, and, and then he let, you know, I, I thought McGowan came back and beat him. I thought Bradley Ray got within one point with a knockdown. Um, so he, he, he fades late. He's not a super athlete. He doesn't throw much. He has no power to speak of. He doesn't commit to his shots. He's just got decent skills, you know? Um, he's a super poor man, Hector Tanahara. Like that's basically what he is as a middleweight. And he's a southpaw. Um, He's got nothing for Sinyani. I think Sinyani's going to do his, his traditional flip and roll and get a knockout. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I, I I look at the odds here, and I love this. I was shocked Sinyani was a dog. I really was. And then he's paying pretty well, plus 240. So I'll bet uh, makes you 240. The slot of the week. Um, this is a good bet, guys. Uh, I, I can't really see Tyler Denny winning this fight. I, I know... Uh, Jigaro is 44 years old, but he's, he's he's got more pairs of victory, and he hasn't fought his he hasn't looked his age, right? I mean, you can, he fought differently than he did when 10 years ago, but it's still more than enough. And you know, I, I think no, we're gonna get into that. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow three boxing, three boxing blog. Um, Also follow Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, that's completely dedicated to uh, Texas Boxing uh, and all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is November 14th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless.